in case you haven't noticed, I am using the, uh, I think it's called the light tunnel effect for the Mac uh, photo booth. Uh, for some reason, I enjoy this, I guess, filter or effect, what have you. So I wanted to talk about background checks and how companies do them. Um, company, there's, there's a lot of components to it. So no, no company clicks a button called background check when they're considering someone for employment. Uh, the background check has different pieces, and some of them are routine, and some of them are sort of, I guess, an add-on, or there's something that's rare. So whenever companies do background checks, and this is you know in response to questions I've gotten, but also posts that I see online, people, a lot of people will ask, I, I lied about my title, but I really worked at you know my former company or something. Will that be a problem? Yeah. Sometimes it's something minute. Someone says I was a software. I don't know, senior software engineer when I was a junior software engineer. Some people say I said I was a business intern when I was an HR intern or some. It's usually some small, small hiccup that even if the, the company knew, they wouldn't hold it against them. And then sometimes there's something huge. Like I said, I was I said I was a manager when I was, I don't know, a junior employee. Or I said I was employed for a year when I was an intern for three months in the, in the summer or something. It, that's when it's sort of a material change. So I see and get all sorts of questions about the background check and if someone's going to be okay. Um, and I never like to say, oh, you're going to be fine. That, that's just, that would be too, you know, I don't like to give those definite uh, reassurances. I don't like to say it's fact. But the background check has different pieces, right? Um, and sometimes it'll, it'll, depending on the process, you'll get away with it. Uh, and sometimes you won't. Uh, so... When it comes to the background check, what most companies do, this is the most common thing, is that they look into your, your criminal history. So that's one component of your background check is a criminal history, like running against, you know, state or federal databases, something like that, seeing if you've ever done any crimes, are you a, a felon, something like that. You know, do you have some ongoing investigation against you? You know, are you a white collar criminal? Are you something else much worse? Um, that's what they usually do. They run your social, your information to see uh, if, you know, if you've ever committed a crime. Then there's other components that are sort of not as high a priority, but some companies do them, right? So one, so the first part is a criminal background check, right? The second one is uh, the credit check. Companies will sometimes run your credit to see if you have any personal finance concerns. Uh, this is not something that happens a lot, but if you're if you're applying to make, if you're applying to like a finance department or for an accounting job, um, obviously they want to make sure you're not in a vulnerable state where embezzling money from a company or a client is something you might consider. Uh, so that's you know running your credit, making sure you have good credit and you don't have a lot of debt on your credit cards. Uh, that's something they'll they'll look into, but it's not something that's routine everywhere. It's something that they specifically have to you know ask for and. It's usually only done if if it makes sense. Uh, another component, the third one, has to do with the employment background check. So the employer background check, sometimes they just call companies and ask if you work there. So they'll look up for the public phone number of your company, and they'll try to talk to HR. They'll try to talk to someone, uh, or they use a service. The service usually, you know, runs your social and uh, basically sees where were you ever employed and for how long. Right, so where was your social security number ever used, um, at you know at a place of employment? Uh, some people show concern here, and I do tell them that if you ever said you were employed or something by a company, full time, but you were part time, you might you know that's not some. It's not that there's going to be any red flags. The company might just be like, hey, you said you worked here for a year full time, but turns out you're part time. That's something you can kind of explain away or. You know, not saying you should lie, but it's not something that will get you immediately, you know, shouldn't get you immediately fired or terminated if it's found out later. Uh, if you're off by like a month or two, you know, for example, if you thought you started February, but you actually started in March, you know, if you're off by a month in the beginning and then you add a month at the end, th th they should give you the benefit of the doubt. I would give someone a benefit of the doubt if they were just off a month here, a month there, if they maybe forgot their hours. Because I know filling out these forms can be stressful and there's just so many questions you're not going to. You're not going to remember uh, every detail of every job you've had. Uh, but yeah, they do run your information, and sometimes it's manual, sometimes it's automated, but they do look to see where were you actually employed. Um, 
And, you know, people do worry about timeline and also they worry about, you know, hours for it. Uh, and now during this check, they will see what was your title at these companies. You know, what, what was your formal title? Um, what were your responsibilities? They'll sometimes look that up as well. So it can be if they do this, it can be a little scary. Um, and what's also scary is. Uh, shoot, I had at the top of my head. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. What is scary is that sometimes someone joins a company at a lower level and they get promoted to the higher level that higher levels on the resume they then ask you know Muhammad I was here at this company for three years for two years I was a junior you know analyst then I became senior analyst but on my resume I just say I was here for three years as a senior analyst is that a problem it's not a problem people get promoted you're not expected to put a different entry on your resume every time you get promoted right so don't don't think that you have to put one year at this level then one year at the, if you've been this summer for a few years just put the title that you currently have you don't have to differentiated you can do that on your LinkedIn you don't have to do that on your resume so there's the criminal background check the credit check the you know employment employment check um, they also look into into references uh, when it comes to references try to see if your references have um, try to see if they have a work email address because companies are a little bit suspicious and if you put some Yahoo or Gmail uh, email address um, it, it can hurt your credibility. It depends on the flavor. Um, it, it just depends on the flavor of the month for whoever's doing the investigation. Some some folks don't mind at all. Uh, and then some folks are very uh, obsessive about it. I know because I have, I I sometimes, I recently had, a, had to do some reference check for a governmental agency in the Midwest that was considering me. And when I was asking former clients for, you know, their email address, because this a governmental agency required it a lot of them just gave me their gmails because they're like we don't want uh and their personal numbers are like we don't want this reference check coming to the work email address we don't want that and we don't want it, them calling us at work uh which is perfectly valid but it it hurt my chances or it, it hurt my relationship with that agency because they looked at all these references and they're like why are most of these personal email addresses because this is kind of a personal matter Right, my reference check is is a favor to me, so they don't consider this work related, and they will not, you know, give me their work email address. But if you can have your reference give you their work email address, or honestly, even their school email address, that would probably go a long way uh, when it comes to reference checks. So when it comes to a background check, um, it's not that everything is going to stick out. I mean, companies have to specifically look for certain things. The most common thing is going to be just, are you a criminal? Um, and then, you know, maybe they'll check your credit. Maybe they'll check your references. Maybe they'll check your job. And, oh, I forgot. One important thing is your, your educational history. So that's also something that's not checked often. But it might be checked if it's sort of a featured part. If it's required, it might be checked. And it might be checked if it's something that you featured a lot, right? So if this is your first job after, you know, after college, uh, or, sh or should I say college, if you're someone who is, God forbid, lying about going to college, and this is your first job, you know, at the age of 22, 23, and you're saying you went to school and now you're graduating or something like that, um, they might actually check and say, okay, let me make sure this person went to school. But if you say, oh, I went to college like 5, 10, 15 years ago, um, in my experience, they don't look that up. I recently have, have been considered for roles where, you know, we went through the background check process and stuff like that. Uh, I'm currently still in the process for, you know, an enterprise that um, it's considering me for a role that requires top secret clearance. So that's, you know, that's going to be like a two year process. So I know in my case, like there, there was a lot of, um, you know, for the, for the equip, they did require me to disclose my educational history, which is fine. But I know the client themselves did not ask, you know, for my transcripts or for like proof of my graduation. So if you graduated college years ago and you have work experience, you're going to be fine. They might not ask for it. But then if you're saying, oh, I'm graduating right now or I just graduated, then they're going to be like, you know what? It's it's not hard for him to get the records. We should, you know, or we should ask him for it or likewise, we should verify for ourselves. So school history, you know, schools you've attended is something that they'll check. Um, I don't think they can see major, though. In my In my experience, they can only see when you attended universities. Um, they can't see what you majored in. They can't see your GPA. All of that stuff's on your transcript. You have to provide it um, for them to see that. But uh, all in, 
to to my knowledge with the various background checks i've i've had conducted on me or likewise i have conducted and, or seen conducted or heard about uh firsthand um you know pe people have only heard of their job uh workplaces seeing what years they attend a university but they don't see what major so uh, i wouldn't say you should lie though i mean please don't say you have a bachelor's in medical technology or something when you did a, a ba in art um you know don't lie your way into some sort of healthcare critical job where your skills are uh, gonna make a big impact but if you did you know art and then you you said you did art history or i don't know you did sociology but now you're saying you did anthropology some small blurring of the lines if you will um you you know you should be fine i don't think they're gonna catch something like that um but yeah don't don't say you have like a a bachelor's in biomedical engineering and get yourself onto like a medical device company that you know they might not know they, they might just see you attended college and got a degree but they might not see what it was but that's definitely not something you want to get caught up with and uh, so yeah that's just a little bit a uh, little bit of context and background and background huh? background information into the background check um, that companies do and this sort of highlights you know what the most important thing is just the criminal stuff and the things that don't get checked as often is you know school stuff except certain situations credit check references you know employment history stuff like that um it's particular to each company but it's not not every company gets like a full dossier on you so it's not nothing to really stress about just uh, also try to be as honest as you possibly can and you shouldn't have a problem